Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cammie and this is Cammie's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button below and follow me and watch my videos. Give me a like, thumbs up, so you can help my channel grow. If you're not new, thank you so much for returning. I really appreciate that. And if you come back, it makes me feel like I'm giving you something that's interesting that you want to see. Anyway, I'm doing a real quick video. I wanted to actually touch on two things. One, Winnie BLV, and I'll link her channel below, um, did a video, I think she was tagged by somehow adulting, and I will link that channel down below also. And the name of Winnie's video was Panic Selling. She was discussing how she had to sell some things and why some luxury bags or what or pieces so please check out that um video but the reason i'm coming on here is because i wanted to let you guys know that i had a little bit of a panic return uh so uh, i'm i'm kind of doing a little spin on the panic selling thing i'm trying to sell a couple of things to fashion file and i still have that valentino red um, leather uh, tote on my community page, which is absolutely stunning. I knocked down the price. I'm negotiable. Go check that out. It is an all leather, gorgeous Valentino bag in pristine condition. Check that out. Maybe you're maybe you'd like to see that. In any case, so I had a little bit of a panic return. If you've been watching me, you know that I recently purchased the Louis Vuitton Bitsy lipstick case. They don't call it a lipstick case, I call it a lipstick case. I bought that when I went to Manhattan with the bad girls. Um, so you know that I returned that. I, I let everybody know that I returned that because I just could not spend $1,400 on something that was basically useless. I mean, other than holding a lipstick in it. And with the chain, unless I was gonna wear the chain around my neck, it, the price was just ridiculous. So I sent that back. Now recently, I just purchased this beautiful little micro Morgan card case on the Coach Outlet. I'm gonna show you what fits in this. I've been using this all week. I absolutely love it. However, I also bought the train case and I returned that, the Coach train case. It was not expensive. Um, it, was, it was like $100, but every bit adds up so i returned the car the uh, train case i returned the bitsy louis vuitton lipstick case that was about a month ago and if you're watching me you saw me unbox the louis vuitton wapiti case it was adorable the one in blue i wasn't crazy about the handle the handle was canvas like the rest of it very hard very very stiff winnie um, I thought that it would eventually start to split from the constant bending. Um, in any case, I loved it. It held what I was looking for it to hold, um, but I, I sent it back. I sent it back because it was $800. And again, it was a spontaneous purchase. I was just looking for something to buy, and I can't do that because... My birthday is coming up and I have a couple of things in mind. I can't, I can't do that with all these little other little things. I can't just keep throwing money away just to have something. I can't do it. So I have a couple of things on my wish list for my birthday that are um, pricey. But I recently just sold my Gucci key holder. I sold that on Poshmark. I got my money back for that. I sent back the Wapiti case. I sent back the lipstick case. I sent back the coach train case. Panicked. I panicked. I just, just get them, get them out of here. Get them out of here. I don't need them. I really want to buy something special for my birthday. So that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned. My birthday is the end of the month and you know, Dawn and I will be celebrating together. In the meantime, let me show you what fits in this. I use this all week at work. If you know me, you know that I take it with me to work in my big work bag. 
And when I run out, wherever, for lunch, the post office, the bank, wherever, I take a little bag with me because I don't want to carry a huge bag. This is one of my best purchases and you can't beat the price. Let me show you. I did unbox it and I showed you what fit, but I forgot to show a couple of things. I didn't have my hand sanitizer with me and these are the most important things. When, when I go out, I need a hand sanitizer. So let me show you real quick. It's an attachable, detachable chain. The chain, I keep the chain inside and sometimes it knots up, but it's not the end of the world. So anyway, why is my hair falling out? My hair's a wreck, don't mind me. So let's start with putting cards in. It actually has its own card holder in the back. I always tend to show my cards to people, my numbers, my bank cards. It's ridiculous. So they fit right there in the back. I have two, could probably fit maybe a third. Now, most importantly, my, my um, keys. Keys go right in at the bottom, no problem. My mini readers, if I'm gonna go anywhere and I have to read labels, tags, menus, um, whatever, the mini readers fit right in there also. That's keys, cards, mini readers. Hand sanitizer. I have this mini size. Does It, it does not um, go all the way. It's a little bit um, above, but I could lay it down. I just don't like to lay a hand sanitizer down because I'm afraid that it might spill. Um, I have little hand sanitizers that are in a little, like, um, they're individual in a packet, like a, I had, I don't have it with me, sorry, but they're like a packet, you've seen them, Purell has them, so, but let's just, it'll close anyway, actually, you see, you could see it in there. Um, let's say you want to take a little cash with you, you want to stick that in there, or you could stick it behind the cards, and you want to take a lipstick, like, let's say you really want to take this bag out out to brunch, out to eat, um, maybe not shopping because it doesn't hold your phone um, and you might want to bring other things if you're going to be out a whole day, but yeah, we'll put there with the lipstick in there too. Check this out. Check this out. This is unbelievable what this holds. Unbelievable. The mini readers, lipstick, hand sanitizer, keys, and um, cards. It's a little bit, you know what? It's a little bit hard to close with the hand sanitizer staying, standing up. So, you know, if you need to take it, you take it. If not, I'm gonna lay it down. It lays down with no problem. And does it close? You know what? It's a bit tight. It's a little tight. It does work. I don't carry all this. I'm just letting you know, it does work. But I don't carry, um, I'm using this for running out from work. I'm not taking a lipstick. Um, I could take the other hand sanitizers. If I take the lipstick out, it closes right up. Well, it's still actually a little snug. If you don't have uh, mini readers, I don't think most people have mini readers, then you know, you're just talking about keys hand sanitizer, cards, and a lipstick, and that closes right up. You have a lot of options with what fits in here, and I will show you a quick mod shot, again, if you didn't see my last video. I'm five foot one for reference, and it's not adjustable. There's no top handle. You can only carry it crossbody. So I went out today on my break and I took what I needed, ran to the store and that was it. This is, sorry, this is annoying me. I don't know why my thing come out. And this is what it looks like. This is adorable. It's like 60, $62, I think. They still have it on the coach outlet. It's the Morgan card holder on a chain. I know a couple of people already purchased it because they saw it and they loved it. So just letting you know, that this is still available. I believe it's still available in other colors. It is adorable. 
and well worth the money. I mean, it, it wasn't expensive at all. Well worth the money. This is what it looks like. So, I will be on vacation this coming week and I'm going to try to put out a couple of extra videos. I have no idea what. Um, I'd like to do a couple of tags maybe, but uh, I just wanted to have something for you guys to see on the weekend. And again, I'll see you when I see you. I, I don't even know what else to say. I really wasn't prepared. I'm just doing this really quick video so you guys could have something um, to watch on Saturday. And I wanted to do that whole um, panic returning thing. Um, yeah, we do return things and we return sometimes more than we purchase because, you know, it's just, it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic for the average person to just be buying and buying and buying and putting them in a closet and spending more and buying more and buying more. It's, it's unrealistic. So, you know, you know, unless you're mega wealthy, you're not, you're not doing that. You're not unboxing every week. You're not buying Louis Vuittons every week. And you certainly have regrets. And thankfully, my regrets usually happen within the return window. <laughs> so um, I think about it, I stare at the item, and I'm like, really, this was unnecessary. Um, I want to make a purchase of something that I look at and say, oh my God, I am just so happy I have it. Not just buy to buy and say, oh, this is really great. No, you have to love it. You have to love it in order to spend a lot of money. You have to love it and you have to want to keep it and you have to want to wear it. It's not, you know, for me, I'm not saying other people do how you do, but for me, I have to absolutely love it and I have to use it if I'm going to spend obscene money. So anyway, that's my video and I will see you guys during the week. Have a great Saturday. Bye.